In this video, we're going to talk about what is a momentum ignition algo. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so you probably haven't heard of this, but we have these algos out there which are really quite abusive algos and they're verging on the edge of illegality in the eyes of the SEC, but we're not going to get into that now. But what is it? What is a momentum ignition algo? So momentum ignition algo is a trading algorithm that attempts to encourage other participants to trade quickly, causing a rapid price move. In other words, this algo will go out there and it will either spike price quickly in one direction over a certain level. We've seen kind of retail versions of that by you know, the stop hunt type thing or a burst of volume in one direction. Basically, they're doing something that's going to induce other participants to trade off the back of that move. So if we put it in simple terms, let's say we have a high and we have an algo which wants to create momentum ignition by creating some buy stops above that high. This is very kind of, we're keeping it very in a simplified level here, but let's assume that for this example, they would then quickly buy a lot of stock or a lot of futures contracts or whatever it may be to force the price through that level, to create momentum, to create hopefully momentum ignition. They're assuming and they're hoping and I guess they've got kind of done their analysis on this, I would assume that that's going to cause a lot more participants to jump in based on what they've caused and then cascade and create some sort of momentum. Now, the way they profit from that is by being pre-positioned either with the buying they've already bought, knowing that it's going to create momentum they can sell into and making that little chunk or they going to fade that so the money's made from either being pre-positioned pre -positioned already or they're going to trade a mean reversion trade. So in other words, they know that they've caused that momentum ignition. So they're going to sell into that knowing that probably because they're the only person who caused it, we could probably drift back to the mean. Now, I use the high and the low as a kind of example so that we can kind of picture it in our minds. But ultimately, you know, it's going to happen anywhere they believe they can get some other algo or some of the participants to get involved. And actually, you know, if we go a little bit deeper into it, it may not just be kind of stops and it generally isn't. If you've got a price here and let's say price is chugging along and they just give it a little bit of a, a nudge to the downside on some high volume, all other algos are gonna see that. And a lot of other algos are programmed to respond to that by joining the herd because this might be a precursor to news. So they're kind of almost spoofing other algos by saying, hey, this is news, the news is coming out, jump on board. So they're trying to create this momentum ignition. They've picked obviously the stocks and the levels and the prices and the time when this would apply best to them, create that momentum ignition when it costs them the least amount of money and they think they've got a big profit potential, cause that little spike in price or a flurry in volume or something that will trigger another algo to say, oh, this is, this is news, something's coming out, we better start a position. And so they will then, you know, sell, 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 you get a few, we're not talking here, by the way, guys, this is not like multiple percentages, this is very small moves, but it's enough for these guys who are kind of abusing the market to make some money. So they will create that momentum ignition, other algos will jump on it thinking, well, they're jumping on it, it's moving, it's moving. In best case scenario, that carries on. The worst case scenario for, for these guys, or the likely scenario is that, this kind of then stalls a bit and it will drift back you know, to where it was before based on all the other the factors because this supply demand has literally just been boom, shifted and back to where it was. So they'll make their money either by being positioned short ready here or they're gonna trade that fade move back to there because all the other algos that they were forcing to take are, are kind of unwinding it or they're not, or more likely they're not adding anymore. They're like waiting for additional information and it's just winding back and they're just, riding that kind of mean reversion back with whatever size they've got. So pretty sneaky. Um, there's lots of other kind of algos out there that really are abusive in the way that they're doing stuff. Obviously, this has got no real value to the market and it's purely based on, they're doing it purely to, to uh, encourage other participants to trade or to entice other participants to trade, which is 
you know, pretty underhand, but it's funny really how you get these kind of battle of the robots now. You know, they're looking to encourage, hey, dangling a little fish in front of, or a carrot in front of, uh, you know, a news algo, or whatever algo may be, get him to react and make money off his false reaction. So that's something we'd not like to see it very, very often. I mean, as I say, it's very small. It happens on a small, kind of short time frame. but there was a lot of, uh, a lot of articles out there, a lot of talk about these these algos, these kind of predatory algos and these market abuse algos. And one of them was this momentum ignition. And I thought it was quite interesting um, to sort of drill down and find out what it was all about. And also, you know, like we talked about the stop situation, you know, if we, we often we see kind of stop hunting, it's it's a modern version of that. Guys in the pit who would push it, push it, push it, knowing there was a sea of stops up there, get the cascade, sell into that, done, walk out of the pit. That was very common. So it's like a modern version of that. All right, guys, thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me and other traders on this channel. Take care, keep the risk managed. See you in the next one. Goodbye.